Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how I get my ball pythons to eat. So hopefully if any of your ball pythons are not eating, we can switch them back onto food and get them going. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Sal at House of Gaia Reptiles. Thank you so much for this really cool shirt. Sal's a great guy, he's very positive, and the back of the shirt is definitely not slacking. He has a really positive message on there, so definitely go and check out Sal at House of Gaia Pythons. He has a YouTube channel, and he actually just started breeding. This is his first year, and he's just killing it, so go and check him out. But now let's get straight into the tips. So today's actually feeding day here, and as you can see, all these bins are just pulled out a little bit. That's so I know that they've been fed, so everything in this rack's been fed. Everything in this rack's been fed except for what is gravid. And then also in the rack over here and the other racks inside my room. So a lot of rats were in here today and I noticed some snakes were not eating and I thought I'd show you guys the tips and tricks that I use. So tip number one is going to be feeding live. A lot of people feed their ball pythons frozen thawed and sometimes frozen thawed is just not enough for a ball python. They really need that live action. They need to get that hunting sensation. So usually I only feed live. A long time ago I used to feed frozen thawed and I had mixed ratios of what was eating. Usually about 40 to 50% were eating, then half the other snakes were not eating. And that's just because sometimes ball pythons will only eat live. They're very stubborn animals. So now I feed live and I'm getting about 80 to 85% eating, which is a great amount of numbers. I have about 10 adults that don't eat a week and then maybe one or two from this rack. This rack, everything eats in. I'm really happy about that because this is my holdbacks. There's definitely an advantage feeding live. So if live is accessible to you, and right now you're feeding throws and thawed, and you're not getting the results that you want, definitely try live. So now let's get into the second tip. So most of the time when we're feeding our snakes, we feed them Norwegian rats and sometimes even lab rats. But tip number two is to actually try ASFs, African software rats, or what they call them in the UK as multi rats or multis. These are a different prey. This is actually ball pythons native prey. This is what they actually would be eating in the wild inside of Africa. And these guys are just a little bit more finicky than the regular rats that we're feeding. And the ball pythons really like that. They also have a different scent. They don't smell as bad as the rats usually do. And they kind of smell a little bit different. So that might also be another factor into why the ball pythons like them so much. But usually when you feed these, the ball pythons tend not to eat the other rats as much. Sometimes you can get a ball python that will eat both rats and ASFs. But generally once a ball python is on ASFs, it stays on ASFs. So this is kind of a last resort. So if you have a ball python that has been eating for a few months and is looking awfully thin, Definitely go and try to find an ASF in your area. If you can't get live, frozen definitely will help, but live is probably the better option, like this guy right here. ASFs get a really bad rep, they're known for being really bad biters, but this guy right here is being really chilled out and just relaxing. I'm really happy for that. Now let's get right into tip number three. So the next tip is also about the rats. This time we're not switching the rat prey, but we're going to switch the size of the rat. Oh, I just got nipped right now. So right here in my hand, I have a Norwegian rat. This is actually a weaned rat. And we're over here by my adult ball pythons. And usually when my adults are not eating or they do not take a small or medium rat, I'll move down two sizes to a weaned and sometimes even a pup if they haven't eaten in a long time and then I'll offer them that. Sometimes they'll take it straight out of my hand even after refusing a rat for weeks, which is a really good plus because you're not gonna have to go and switch your snake onto ASFs and they're still eating rats. And usually after they have about one to two smaller rats, they'll get right back on the mediums and pounding the rats again. So a really good tip, once again, is to move the rats down to a weaned or a pup for your adult breeders. Even something around this size over here. I would go and put a rat pup in. I did have an ASF in here before I tried the rat pup just to see if this Ultramel will eat. This is the one I got from GB Ball Pythons inside of Italy. She's kind of been on a hunger strike for me ever since landing inside of Canada. I don't know if it was the trip, the change in temperature, the atmosphere. So I offered her ASF and she seemed to have taken it, which is just a great plus for me. So I'm just gonna get this ASF tape right here I have and I'm gonna put it on. I know I have to get more organized. I'm gonna do a clip system kind of similar to what we do with mutation creation. And then I also have to get all my snakes into Husbandry Pro app. If you guys don't know what Husbandry Pro is, it's a really cool app to help log in all your data for your snakes. So if you guys need help with all that, Husbandry Pro definitely is really cool for that. There's a 30 day free trial 
and there's different tiers depending on how many animals you have. So if you have a lot of animals like me, you're definitely going to want to go and uh, use this. If you have a little bit of animals, you can still work with a pen and paper, but Husbandry Pro is a lot easier, especially with the scanner on the cell phone. So definitely go and check that out. I'll actually have a link in the description down below. By no means am I actually endorsed by Husbandry Pro. I'm not getting paid for this. Billy's not paying me for this, but it's actually a really good system. It's helped a lot at mutation creation. I'm actually going to adopt it myself and you guys should too so definitely go and check it out i'm gonna go feed this rat off and let's get into tip number four if this is something that sounds a little bit crazy i definitely laughed at it the first time i heard it and i actually tried it today for the very first time and to my amazement it worked so right over here there's this pastel ultra mill girl and she was being a little bit of a stubborn eater for me she wasn't eating at all and i actually took her for a car ride and she ate for the very first time. So her tub was out, that means I fed her. And I actually gave her an ASF last week and she did not want it. This week I tried a rat after going for the car ride and she ate it. And then all you have to do for this, it's super easy, is go and get your snake, get a bag, put the snake inside of the bag, make sure you tie a really good knot, then go to your car, get inside and just start driving. You keep it in your lap or you can put it on the passenger side. Whatever you want to do, just take it for a drive, not too long, five to 10 minutes. Bring it back, put it into the tub, and it should eat for you just like this one did right over here. Super happy about that. Let's get right on to the last and final tip. So the fifth and final tip is going to be actually two tips into one. So a lot of you guys already know about Da Vinci Boa. I'm not going to get too much into it, but I will dedicate a whole video to Da Vinci Boa, how I do it, and show you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. But there's another supplement that I use that you can go and buy at your local pet store. And it's right here. It's the Zoomed Reptile Electrolyte Soak. And by no means am I sponsored by Zoomed. I'm not sponsored by anyone. If you guys want to sponsor me, hit me up on Instagram. Somebody please sponsor me, please. So this stuff actually works really well. I heard about it from a rat breeder. You know who you are. Thank you so much for it. And basically, I do this to all my females as soon as they lay. Basically, what this does is it gives them a lot of the hydration they need, some electrolytes, and some essential vitamins and minerals, which is just great for your snakes. I also do it to my snakes when they're not eating, and I've found after one to two soaks, they can really start to change and eat. I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration right now. What you do is first you go and get a tub that can fit your snake inside of it and some water. Then you're going to go fill it up with some lukewarm water, nothing too hot, nothing too cold. You want your snake to be comfortable inside of it. And then you're going to go get five grams of the electrolyte soak, put it into the water and mix it up. After it's mixed up really well, you're going to grab your snake, Put it in there for the soak. Make sure you have at least one to two uh, holes inside of the top of the tub. They can be small, but just to get a little bit of air in there, you're not going to have them in there for too long, about 10 to 20 minutes, and then you're going to take them out. But I found if you do this one to two times, if you have a problem eater, they do tend to start eating well. So this electrolyte soak is amazing, and I even start doing it to them until they eat about three times. So I continue the soak just to ensure that they're still eating, because I find that snakes usually get a lot of their water from the actual prey they eat. Not all of it comes from the drinking. It's definitely a great product, something I definitely recommend. Once again, no sponsor. If you want to sponsor me again, Instagram. But other than that, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I do have another video coming up on how to switch your snakes from ASFs back to rats. So that's going to come out next week or the week after. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.